Welcome, my name is Cami. I'm Colin. And today we're going to be talking about letters of recommendation. And some frequently asked questions related to them. When thinking about how many letters of recommendation to submit, you can have a minimum of two and a maximum of four. Uh, whether you have up to four or just the two is totally fine with us. No, it does not. If you have a letter of recommendation from a pharmacist that you've worked with directly, that's great. We love receiving those, but you have plenty of other avenues if you haven't worked directly with a pharmacist and you need to seek other options. When thinking of who to ask for your letters of recommendation, there's many options you can choose from. You could choose a professor, a supervisor, a manager, or really anybody who has seen you from a supervisory role. Uh, these people you want to ask are going to be people that get to know you very well, that can speak to your professional demeanor, accountability, and maturity. But for a more detailed list of what you should look for in a letter of recommendation writer, you can check out our website. So you probably encountered your first letter of recommendation when seeking a job or some other similar opportunity. Those typically uh, relate to both your work skills and also your character traits. We add a third bucket, which is how are you gonna learn? You know, how have you learned in the past from maybe past failures or from past classes? And what's your educational prowess as well as your character traits and your work ethic? So you have multiple buckets to pick from um, and it gives you a great opportunity to kind of stuff that letter um, and allow someone else to showcase who you really are. It is not required to prepare your letter of recommendation writer, but we definitely encourage it. Uh, letters of recommendation are something that are universal and very easy to create a template for, for a lot of these individuals. And if you can prepare them a little bit more, hopefully you can get something more unique and specific to who you are and show off all of your skill set and describe you the best to really help our admissions committee understand who you are and why you would be a good fit here at the University of Utah. So if you're a few years away from pharmacy school, then I would just recommend never turning down any sort of contact information from any mentors you've had. Keep those lines of communication open uh, and make sure that you know, you're not losing touch with anybody. You're making new connections out in the working world. Don't just stay siloed at any sort of opportunities or community events or anything you go to do. Uh, be sure to, you know, make yourself known to all the people around you because who knows they could end up being the perfect person for your letter of recommendation. <laughs>